and welcome to another review of a Lego Ninjago. Today we have the Lloyd's Titan Mech. So set number 70676. This set has 876 pieces. It's part of the Secrets of Forbidden Spinjitsu sub theme and it has a retail price of 65 pounds. Although I have to say, I have seen lower prices for the same set, lots of sales on Amazon and other websites. So let's begin with a general overview. So as we can see, this is a large walker. The main aspect of this is that there's a walker and there's a plane, and that the plane separate. So this is the kind of main feature. Um, that wasn't the best separation, hold on, but yeah. Uh, yeah. So basically the plane comes off, and you have a separate flying plane. This plane, it kind of looks a bit like a bird. It has these, you know, it has these very like sharp edges at the end here, and we have right here, we have two spring loaded shooters with some swords and a place to put a minifigure. So let's just take this guy out. So there you go. Nice play. And both of these things move around. So this could be a nice play to attack in the sky, to slice around, attack other with dragons, etc. Now looking at the walker itself. So the walker itself has movable arms and legs. So here we have one arm with a rotating or spinner blade. So possibly she could like kneel down, like zzzz, or just slice around. And he also has a sword. And the sword is actually held by a slight clip here. So it's not like, so you could take the sword off and maybe put something else instead. It's quite a big sword. I like the scaling, quite a nice big sword. So you can just like shing, shing, just, just slice around. And if we open the cockpit like here, inside we have a nice, a little bit of decor, a little bit of control panels. We could put the minifigure inside and he's and we put him inside and there we go. Right. Now the legs also move. They move sideways and forward and they also move a bit at the at the over here. And this comes out to one thing this kind of issue with the set is that there is no turning point here. It's just a solid piece. Which means this this guy can't really I mean he can you can move it down like this, but you can't really have much mobility with the legs. And if you're trying to find some minifigures or something at the bottom, it's kind of hard to, you know, reach down because this thing's never bent. So that's a really strange thing. And then this movement here is quite limited. So I think slight issue with set is that these legs need to like, you know, move down more. So there could be a, a modification to help maybe by removing some of these parts. So that is a slight strange thing. But if we look at here, I really like the design here. We have some nice fingers, so you could probably put the blade in other hands. Nice spinning blade here. Lots of very nice decor, as we can see. We have lots of stickers, lots of very like good looking up on the back. It also looks quite nice. I mean, definitely this looks like a proper warrior, what you'll be looking at, you know. This is a pretty, pretty good, solid, well looking set. And now let's attach this thing again. So you just flip this on this, and then you attach it from the back. I Keep on forgetting which way you do it, but yeah, like that. So we attach it like that. There you go. And now it's attached, and it's quite solidly in there. And we have this really nice looking design. Possibly he could fly a little, I don't know. Probably just walk around. And just, mm, mm, shing, shing. So yeah, so that's actually a quite a nice walker. I mean, it's kind of strange how the minifigure just like sits open here, because, you know, an hour could just easily just, just shoot him down. So I mean, that could be like a visor, but I really like the decor here. It looks like a helmet for the figure that actually adds quite nice detail. So playability wise, there are some interesting things you could do with the set. It could be fighting dragons. It could be stomping around, you know, just slicing around, attacking others, or fighting other mecha. There are other, there are lots of other Titan mechs. For instance, just recently, yesterday, came out another, I think, Zane's Titan mech. So they, they could fight each other, so they kind of work well together. And there are lots of various mechs which you could use with this one. Although this one probably won't be largest. So there are definitely a lot of things you could do with the set. So that's why let's begin with features. I would give this a I'll give this a 7 out of 10. Because I'll give this an 8 out of 10 actually, because there are quite quite a lot of features in here. I like the plane and how it comes out. For design and build, despite the amazing design, I'll have to give this an 8 because of the strange designing function here. Because that wasn't the best I think that wasn't the best choice here. That definitely undermines what like the playability which is why playability wise i'll give this probably a seven or six and a half 
Because despite being really, really fun to play with, this issue with the legs not bending down is a bit annoying. But you could overcome it and do a little of this, and that really kind of fixes the job. So I'll give it an 8, 8, 7. And overall, I give it a 7. I, I give it a set like an 8. I really like it. It's a very nice set, a very good addition to any Legend Ninja, Ninja collection. So stay creative and keep building.